Hello, I'm Barbara Jones. I live in Guildford and I've come up to Wales this weekend to join a memorial work, walk to commemorate uh, Edie Clements, Clem as he was known to all his friends. Um, we're going to go up the first hill that he ever went up, according to his memoirs, Taran Hendra. And when we get to the top, we thought we might leave a few little mementos to um, record his interests. Um, as a young lad, he got into astronomy and then became an astronomer working at Hurstman Zoo. So we're going to leave that little star map to remember that. Uh, later, uh, he was a great bicyclist. Uh, he kept a record of all the mileage he did and he didn't quite, his total didn't quite reach the distance to the moon. But in memory of his bicycling exploits, which took him to the Alps, amongst other things, we found that little plaque that we thought we'd leave. Uh, when he met his wife, he was introduced to badger sets. And he became the national recorder for the, the badger groups. And he, he'd never actually seen a badger, but he went out recording the sets and keeping a record of them. So we have this little badger that we're going to leave up there. Um, I knew him in Guildford and he had a lovely cat called Martha who outlived him and we're going to leave this photograph of Martha who now lives a few doors down from where Clem lived and we thought that might be rather nice to leave these as a record of his life. <laughs> we're in uh, Abergenolwyn uh, and uh, nice yeah, little party of people. We've got uh, <laughs> Rob's here <laughs> and uh, Barbara just in the background uh, and David yeah, I felt fine this <laughs> and uh, John and, uh, and Alex. So um, it's almost quarter past 11 so probably wait another five or ten minutes and see if anybody else uh, comes but um, I think Barbara's going to do a little reading. <coughs> You'll have to tell people. <laughs> well, we're gathered here to do our memorial walk for Clem. Is Rob with us? Are you attending? Yeah, I'm coming back. <laughs> Last night, Murphy and I were flipping through the photocopies of Clem's memoirs, which is an inch or more thing, and Murphy stopped particular page and blow me down it was the very page <coughs> explaining about how Clem went up his first real hill and I thought I'd read the little bit. We and my family were on holiday in Abergavenny when war broke out in 1939. I can still remember that sight of a real hill at age 16 when the train passed the base of Breeden Hills, you pronounce it? Or Bryden? Bryden. Hills and mountains must have been in the blood, though. As I was, as at 14, I had read Frank Smythe's Catch and Junger Adventure from cover to cover, the first book that really enthralled me. My parents hardly mentioned hills. Dad had been up Snaefell by train, question mark, and Mum was to reach her highest when I took her up Rowen in 1960, oh, in 1943. And then, he continues, Many times I would walk along the beach and sands at Avergaveni. On one lucky day, this is in 1941, I found a one-inch ordnance survey map of the area washed up on the beach, gold dust in wartime, as I'm not sure whether they were available, not in Abergaveni anyway. September the 4th, I walked up the hill behind the town as before, and those hills across the Happy Valley beckoned, so I decided to climb Call and Freyth. It seemed a long way up and I must have taken a wrong track somewhere as I suddenly realised Call and Fraith was on my left and below. I was in fact near the top of Trumgelly, which turned out to be the southwest end of a flattish ridge, over 4,000 metres higher than Call and Fraith, and my first time over a thousand feet. So I called it a day and went back the way I'd come. What had I started? I didn't know then. April the 18th. From the map, I saw that the flattish ridge led to Taranhendra, as it was then. He's written it as two words and one R, and that has two. And that I could get up there from Gogarth Holt on the railway west of Dovey Junction without having to drop to the Happy Valley and climb out again. It was a hot day, which is about all I can remember of the climb. A, ca a car can of quartz rocks on top. I wonder if that is still the case. About 50 years later, this hill became my first Marilyn, the name coined by Alan Dawson 
the hills with at least 150 meters drop. And so we are going up there from the north side, whereas Clem went up from the south side, but never mind. <laughs> we Thanks, celebrate uh, him when we get to the top. Thanks, Barbara. Pleasure. So, um, yeah, a little bit there. So, um, nice little gathering, and we'll be uh, setting off uh, soon. Well, I think it was it was Abba Dovey, wasn't it? Not uh, not Abergavenny. Oh, did I say Abergavenny? <coughs> West of Dovey Junction. I think you probably. What did I say Dovey Dovey? I think you probably increased the property prices in, in Abergavenny because yeah, you right. you put them on the coast. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, do a little bit of filming and take some uh, photos a little bit later. Well, we've uh, come off route a little bit. Still on our way up to uh, Taranahindra. And we're on top of a 400 metre hill. And uh, Rob's done all the ones in uh, England and Wales, so I come to Rob. Hi, Rob. How are you, Mervyn? We've come off route a little bit, haven't we? Um, no, I wouldn't say so, no. We always <laughs> intended to come here, didn't we? <laughs> so, um, where are we now, Rob? What, uh, what hill? <laughs> Oh, in the middle of the mist somewhere. It's a place called Munnath. It's Munnath Tanakoid. It's 491 metres, P56 metres. Hey, wow. And it's on the uh, south, would it be on the western? No, the northern ridge of Tara of Tarin oh, Hendra, isn't it? Western end, really. Western. Yeah, it's leading down towards Tarin. Yeah. That's the uh, Avon de Cine, uh outflow, apparently. Well, um, so Alex tells me. Well, cheers, uh, Rob. Thank you. And I'll just pan around. And uh, got Alex and Barbara still here. Oh, aha. Like a marrow in it. And there's the view over towards uh, Taran Hendra. And somewhere up there is uh, David and John. They, they went a different route to, uh, to us. We've uh, been to the summit and we're now at the cairn that uh, Clem mentions in his uh, memoirs, the one with the quartz in, which is a more prominent cairn, a little bit lower than the very highest point, and um, Barbara's just wrapped our little mementos that we're going to leave. So there we go, because uh, Clem was a very avid uh, cyclist, and he loved his badger sets. And uh, we've got a photo of Martha. No, no. Here we go. No, There's this something is not Martha. for celebrate his uh, his astronomy. David will appreciate this. And then on the reverse of that, Barbara. That's his beloved cat, Martha. Lovely. So we're going to leave these up here for Clem. Have you all seen his cat, Martha? <laughs> Came to so, uh, Martha. Oh, right, yeah. She was with uh, us for a couple of months. So it's a yeah. good route up coming through the uh, through the forestry. Oh, and uh, yeah. a little bit misty. The sun's been trying to break through uh, on the steep ridge coming up. It's uh, rather pleasant considering what the forecast was um, a couple of days ago. But in his memoirs, Clem mentions a a cairn with uh, with quartz. And finding things lying about, so I propose that we tuck them in. Right. How about put them on the top and we can photograph them? Oh, and you we'll want to put them in. Put them on the top to begin with. Yeah. Okay. Whoop. 
We're going to bury those in the can and I'll probably take a couple of photographs as well. Martha and the stars right down in there and the wee badger that in there the plaque on top. How about that? That's Perhaps we put the plaque that way up. Yeah. Oh, it's the uh, it's the Des Wooding Memorial Run, uh, 1954. Did you know that? No, I did. <laughs> but do you want to put it the other way? So okay. that, yeah, the bike showing. It's okay. Right. Right. Okay. That's that. Right. There you go. That's that's brilliant. Right. right. Very okay. in Right. And then oh, well, I think once I you've think buried it, we'll pick the big quartz out, lumps out, and put them on the top. Yeah. It's more like it's a proper Welsh care. Yeah. yeah. Any volunteers to put the rocks on? I'll put the rocks on. Go on, then, John. <coughs> Get rid. Get me down. Okay. Let's go and see Rob. Rob's um, putting up a post on uh, Facebook. So, uh, what have you put up? Yeah, you won't be able to get it, I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah, I don't know whether I'll pick it up. Uh, what's oh, it actually, say? that's the whole thing. At Clem's Quartzite Cairn on Taran Hendra, the first hill he ever climbed in August 1941 after finding a one-inch map on Abu Dhabi Beach while on holiday. R.I.P. Clem Clements, list compiler extraordinaire. Yeah, very good. I don't think anybody will find this. Good. Right, Let's go see Alex. Any, uh, any thoughts, Alex? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's a privilege to be here yeah. on this, yeah, this occasion. Because you, you, I don't think you'd met Clem, but you knew of him and what he did, didn't you? Uh, no, no uh, yeah, I knew of him. I, never, not, uh, never had any communication with him. Um, just when you uh, read the, um, when Barbara read the extract before, I found that very uh, uh, great to hear his personal accounts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cheers, Alex. Let's come to David. Any uh, any thoughts, David? Well, you needed to give me some notice of a question <laughs> like that. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to do this down in the pub. <laughs> well, we can do, we can do it down in the pub as well. But any sort of immediate thoughts then for um, oh, or? well. Well, if you're speechless, how about a memorial flapjack? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Clever, very fond of. My flapjacks, and Rob has sampled them. I don't know, have you sampled them? Uh, I will, Barbara. <laughs> I, keep, I know Rob has. Keep, Rob me, hasn't quick. <laughs> keep me from them, Barbara. Rob has to know that. Any thoughts there, Rob? Just, uh... I suppose I'm just thinking back to uh, um, correspondence with Clem over the last 10, 15 years, maybe. You know, Hill lists, uh, copies of his immaculately uh, written. Um, uh, uh, card indexes that he photocopied and sent through to me uh, and uh, you know, spent time, myself and others, just uh, getting them typed up and put online and uh, it's nice to think, you know, we were at a hill, the, the first hill that he climbed, uh, having just been to that 400 metre summit that of course is on the, one of the hills that we compiled from his list, so yeah, nice, uh, nice way to close the thing off really. Yeah, I'd love to remember him. Yeah, cheers Rob, thank you very much. And, uh, Let's go and see John as well. Yeah, John's, John's here. Let's go and see um, any uh, any comments, John. Well, the memorial flat, flapjack is pretty good. Um, yeah, Clem was uh, definitely a, a producer of very very good data, well ahead of his time, despite some of the uh, map bases he had to uh, get the information off. And uh, I have uh, been guilty of uh, borrowing the information, if not only just to get me myself kicked off with more modern maps, but some of that information is quite useful. Lovely. Cheers, uh, John. Thank you. And uh, last thoughts, Barbara, for now? Last thoughts? Well, I knew Flem in Guildford, mostly. Well, it ought entirely. Um, used to go out 
hunting for badger sets with him. Um, and he was a great guy, quiet, unassuming, but a wonderful guy. Lovely. That's about it. Yeah, cheers, yeah. Barbara. Thank you. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, there we go, on top of Tarrant Head.